to the new details coming out of a local double murder investigation. WFT has exclusively obtained the five-hour interrogation video showing a husband and father admitting to killing his wife and their teenage daughter. Since this case is pending in court, the state attorney's office redacted some of the disturbing details revealed by Williams himself. The words of an accused killer. So the cat is out of the bag. For the first time, you are hearing Paul Williams explain what happened inside his Alachua County home 15 months ago. They didn't realize uh, that, uh, you know, what I did would be uh, so gravity uh, restricting, total selfishness. According to the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, Williams confessed to brutally stabbing to death his wife Leslie and teenage daughter Paige. Um, I miss them very much. He said they're everything to you, mm -hmm. and you're going to miss them. Yes. Many of the answers Paul Williams gave detectives during this five-hour interrogation were long-winded and sometimes puzzling. For example, after locating the bodies, deputies spent hours searching for Williams. I just drive around try, trying um, to see if, uh, if uh, law enforcement would, uh, would find me. Williams' case has moved slowly in circuit criminal court with questions about his mental health and whether he's fit to stand trial. So the specific questions are, do you understand the charges against you? Are these serious charges? Are these misdemeanors or felonies? Do they understand the potential penalties? Dr. Jason DeMary has no connection with this case, but has previously conducted competency evaluations and testified in criminal court. If the symptoms that are being presented are, are wholly inconsistent with known mental illnesses, it suggests that a person could potentially be uh, masquerading as being mentally ill and incompetent. Of the chilling tape, Williams offered only one explanation for his actions. What's your hypothesis? That it, that it, that it, like, you know, the, the, uh, definitely the devil. If the court rules Williams incompetent, he won't be tried until he's rehabilitated at a treatment facility.